A couple of weeks ago, I started using a new continuous glucose monitor. You probably didn't even know that this CGM existed. But you know me, I like to try new stuff and experiment with all kinds of diabetes technology. So when the company called Cybionics, which is behind this CGM, reached out to me, offered to send me these five sensors to test and asked me to do a sponsored video, I was all in. By the way, Cybionics is now offering a free trial of their CGM and I will show you how to sign up. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. The packaging of this new CGM is fairly standard. Two separate parts, the white part is the CGM sensor and the blue or turquoise part is the applicator. You're supposed to wear this on your upper arm. So I'm gonna clean the side and let it dry. By the way, they give you the alcohol wipe and the sensor over patch in the package, which is pretty convenient. Now I'm gonna remove the lid of both packages and place the applicator into the white bucket with the sensor. There is a little dot here that needs to fit into this little hole. Now press on the applicator until it comes to a stop and lift it up. The applicator is now loaded with the sensor and the sensor is ready to be applied. If you're scared of needles, don't look inside because a Cybionic sensor really doesn't try to hide the needle at all. It's fully exposed. Now I need to pull out the safety clip and now I can go ahead and place the applicator over the side and press the button on the top of the applicator. When I press the button, the sensor filament goes in. I kind of like the applicator mechanics. Having the safety clip and the button there is much more user friendly than having to push the whole top of the applicator. The button is nice and sturdy. The whole application process feels quite comfortable. No pain, nothing like that. Now to connect the sensor with the Cybionics app, I need to scan the QR code on the orange sensor box. Another option is type in the digital code below the QR code. After scanning the QR code, a 60 minute warm up period starts. And after 60 minutes, the first reading shows up in the phone app. You see that everything on my box is written in Chinese because I tested the original Chinese version of this CGM. This original version is already used by hundreds of thousands of people in China. For me, the Chinese packaging was not a problem because obviously I can speak Chinese. <laughs> Just kidding. But don't worry, Cybionics already have an English version of the packaging that will be available for Western market. Here are a few things I really like about the Cybionics sensor so far. The Bluetooth connection between the sensor and my phone has been very reliable. I haven't lost the connection once. The glucose reading updates every five minutes and I can see on the screen when the reading was last updated, which is pretty helpful. In general, the Cybionics sensor works pretty much the same way as other CGMs on the market that we know. It reads the glucose data from the interstitial fluid using a filament placed under the skin. Now, what I really like is the sensor adhesive, which is very durable. And so the sensor stays on very well, especially if you use the overpatch. Although I tested these sensors in summer months, I didn't have any issues. The Cybonic sensor is a little bit smaller than the original version of Freestyle Libre. It has an oval shape and a very similar profile. When we compare it to Dexcom G6, the Cybionic CGM is considerably smaller and sleeker. On the other hand, when we compare the Cybionic CGM to Dexcom G7 and Freestyle Libre 3, it is quite a bit bigger and not as low profile as these newer sensors. Now, of course, it's not all about the size. Another important factor is if the CGM is accurate. I did a few checks of the Cybionic sensor readings to my glucometer. And as you can see, the sensor readings are pretty close even during times when my glucose was not exactly stable. Some of the readings were a little bit lower than the readings from my glucometer, but the differences were not at all significant. Officially, the Cybionic sensor has a mean absolute relative difference of 8.8%, which is comparable to the other key players on the market. The Cybionics app looks pretty neat. Similar to other CGMs, it lets you view your current glucose number, glucose trend, and your glucose graph for the last three to 24 hours. The one thing I don't like about this system are the alerts and specifically the fact that they are not very customizable. Whenever you go above or below your glucose target, you will be alerted and you will keep receiving alerts every five minutes. There is no way to temporarily turn off or at least snooze the alerts. The only way to get rid of them is to turn them off completely. Now that's not not very user friendly, but it's what it is. In terms of the alert style, you can choose between sound, shaking or shaking and sound. Just to clarify, shaking means 
vibrate. The only thing they will be shaking is your phone. Nobody will be shaking with you, okay? The app also lets you input and track additional information like meals, exercise, medication, sleep, and so on, which is quite nice. Now, if you're really nerdy like me, you will like this one. The app will not only show you your average glucose, time in range, and your estimated HbA1c, it will also show you a coefficient of variation. This coefficient of variation is something similar to standard deviation, which is a very helpful data point that all major CGMs are missing in their apps. Cybionics also lets you share your data with followers. You just need to invite them and they need to install the Cybionics apps just like you have it on your phone. Now before I tell you where and to when the Cybionics CGM will be available and how you can get into the free trial, I just want to clarify that this system doesn't integrate with insulin pumps and so for me this is not a long-term solution. So after testing this CGM I will go to my previous CGM solution that I can connect with my insulin pump and run an automated insulin delivery system. But if you're someone who's not on the insulin pump, this sensor, the Cybionic CGM, is a viable solution and offers a lot of benefits. Cybionics also applied for the CE mark and they're expecting to get the European approval shortly. After that, they will be applying for approval in the US. As I already mentioned, if you want to try the Cybionic CGM for free, you can sign up for a free trial, which is now open in European countries. I'll put the link to the free trial in the video description. Now, as we all know, CGM is not the only tool on the way to good balanced blood sugar. If you want to improve your blood sugar faster, click on this video and watch it next. I share another 10 blood sugar hacks there. They might really help you out. I will see you there. Ciao.